all right everyone here we are with another video with invest for tomorrow to all the first time viewers and investors welcome to the channel to all the subscribers welcome back all i ask for in return is for you to smash that like button to let me know you watch this video and to stay tuned on in towards the second half of this video guys right after this chart analysis i have a ticker symbol to share with you guys that you won't want to miss as well as the opportunities we mentioned this morning over at the discord we found two home run opportunities 20 percent plus on one 30% plus on the other and if you want to receive these updates live you're more than welcome to join us the link is down below in the description to the discord and by joining you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together to maximize profits and minimize losses so here we are with SNDL Sundial Growers Inc and it actually jumped up pulled back down and it's pushing back upwards so sometimes these setbacks that look like setbacks if not are setups to run back up but right now there's not that much strength this is in tug of war zone and it's been basically consolidating since hitting the lows down here of 108 so 108 is important to keep in mind but based off today's price action the 50-day moving average is right here at 116 anything below that is bearish anything above it is bullish we're at 118 and there's some important things to look at so if the 50-day moving average gets broken through the next support level i would watch is 112 112 is the lowest point of the day if that gets crossed the next point would be 108 i would watch how it does within those areas or even between 112 and 116 and see if the bulls try to reappear and bring it back up or if the bears are tearing this one down fairly fast now the highest point after this momentum picked up was right here at 118 probably to the hundreds or thousands place from where it sits right now and that's the point that needs to be broken through but not significant enough to pull it further away from the 50 day moving average so the resistance level that the bulls truly need to break through is the highest point before this pullback to pull away from the tug of war zone gain leverage over the chart and reach newer highs and that is down here at this point at 122 guys 122 needs to be broken through turn into a support so that the bulls can break away from it reach newer highs new resistance levels pull further away from the 50 day moving average and maintain control and leverage on the chart and start a momentum rally to the upside if you learn something new don't forget to subscribe click on the bell so you don't miss a single video that i post share this with a friend so they can receive the insight as well and stay tuned all i ask for is three to five more minutes of your time i have a ticker symbol to share with you guys as well as the opportunities we mentioned this morning we hit two home runs and if that's something that interests you and you want to become part of you're more than welcome to join us the link is down below in the description to the discord stay tuned So the ticker symbol I have for you guys today is one that I've mentioned before over at the Patreon and it is a ticker symbol that's already jumped up 10% on the week. We're going to look at it together but before we do I want to share with you guys the opportunities we mentioned this morning over at the Discord and if that's something that interests you and you want to become part of you're more than welcome to join us. The link is down below in the description to the Discord and by joining you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together. So we mentioned IGC at 185 this gave about three to five percent opportunities and a few jumps above five percent but this was not that strong we went ahead and talked about next i don't like to recycle stocks but this was a stock that i bought in the day before at 293 i was still holding i had high conviction i was about to sell it for a 20 percent plus opportunity yesterday i didn't i held through to today and we're going to look at that chart in just a moment because this was our home run for the day we also talked about GBS at 325. This jumped up nicely. We talked about LOTS, right? L-O-T-Z. We've been talking about this one since it was at $4 and some change. It was sitting at 620 today. It gave us plenty of room last week from 10 to 20%. And today alone, it turned out to be a big jump as well. We talked about VBIV. This gave about a 5 to 10% opportunity. And then we also talked about, which you can't see here because it's a long list, we talked about DGLY, Digital Alley, and it jumped up about 5 to 8%. So let's look at the stocks, how they jumped up our best performers of the day. So LOTS was a home run for the day. L-O-T-Z, right? When I mentioned it at 620. Let's just go ahead and look at this together so you guys can see here when I talked about LOTS. Back on June 1st, 
It was one of the stocks I talked about and it was sitting at 438. It was in a downward trend and it was kind of consolidating and I saw it as an opportunity for whoever wants to swing trade, day trade or even long term trade. So when we go ahead and look at this together, you will see here how much it's jumped. I mean, from 438 to 620 and a high today of 740. Yeah, this is given between 30 to 50 percent almost on the jump since or probably even more than that, actually, since I mentioned it, but really close to those levels. Now, today is when we mentioned it at 620. I had stated in the message that this was once one of our stocks from the weekly watch list right and today it has made it in our daily right so it was actually very interesting that i saw it in the daily opportunity and it was sitting at 620 took off to a high here of 737 highest point 20 percent plus now the other stock we mentioned was next we mentioned it at 421 it actually was pulling back we had mentioned it the day before it was a home run yesterday i don't like to recycle stocks but it was looking like an opportunity and fairly quickly, it jumped up 20 to 30% in just a matter of minutes, pulled back down, consolidated, and gave a high from that point to 40% plus opportunity at that high, guys. This was phenomenal. I caught this one at 293, so I got a little bit more than that, and that was actually very bold of me. I don't like to hold penny stocks overnight, but my conviction was high on the reasons why this stock was very important on its fresh news of analysis upgrades now the other one i mentioned was gbs gbs was sitting at 325 when i mentioned it this morning it jumped up pretty quickly within just 15 to 20 minutes and gave a highest point of 10 to 15 percent plus it was phenomenal pulled back again and gave another 5 to 10 percent opportunity and then almost giving another 10 to 15 percent opportunity anyone that held through the volatility if they caught it down in this area and held through the jumps of the ups and downs but at the end of the day this was great for our expectations five to ten percent is a regular day 10 to 15 and 20 percent is a great day and 20 percent plus is a home run so we went ahead had a great opportunity with this one we hit a home run with next and we hit a home run with lots so what's the ticker symbol you want to add to your watch list well i talked about this one over the weekend and this is Array Technologies. This has been beaten down pretty hard. And if I put here the 30 minute chart, you could see how it's been torn down to the downside, almost like lots, right? When we caught it. Now, this was actually a stock that I started watching close to $13, $14, jumped up to 16. I saw it consolidating, but pulling back. And as it was pulling back, I mentioned it this weekend and the first trading day of the week, was monday which was yesterday it hit a low of 14.59 and it's taken off to a high here of 16.86 right giving a nice jump of 10 to 20 percent right there in just a matter of two days so this is definitely a stock you want to have on your watch list for either further weakness downwards or consolidation before the next run because when you zoom out you can see there's a lot of room i definitely recommend doing more research and due diligence on this in no way shape or form am i giving this as financial advice i'm just here to align everyone on the stocks i'm watching why i'm watching them when i'm watching them and you guys can go ahead and do further due diligence and make a rational decision as an investor on what you're seeing and what you have found now if you want to know when i'm watching these stocks live you're more than welcome to join us the link to the discord is down below in the description you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to maximize profits minimize losses learn and grow together and we look forward to having you join us thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money